Good morning, traders. I'm Dan Pavilonis, uh, senior broker here with RJO Futures. Today is Thursday, and I have your currency uh, news. Uh, this morning's ISM uh, came out a little bit weaker than expected. Uh, they were expecting 57.4, um, came out at 54.4, and last month was actually at 58. Uh, the euro initially popped, uh, made new highs. Uh, looks like it, it wanted to continue on its uptrend uh, to February highs of 57.7. But um, after prior or after the number came out, the market pulled back a little bit. I, I think right now everybody's uh, eye is, uh, the macro view is, is on the uh, political landscape of the U.S. with the debt ceiling talks and everything of that nature. We're seeing weakness in the dollar. Carried through with uh, with uh, some strength in the euro. Treasury seem to see some flight to quality. Stocks are off today. Uh, Obama's talking. So uh, everybody is kind of in this pause. A little bit of flight to quality. A little bit of uh, stability and staying in positions. But we're we're kind of wait and see right now. So uh, with what I'm looking at, I, I think the Treasury is going to continue, or the Fed is going to continue to buy Treasuries, uh, especially this right now. It gives them uh, enough political cover to continue to do what it's doing, similar to what we've seen in Japan over the years. Um, and if that's the case, I think you continue to see weakness in the dollar and interest rates would probably go back down most likely. And uh, and how can they unwind if the stocks are already at or, or close to all time highs? It'd be really hard for them to do that. So um, everybody is kind of, again, looking at what's gonna happen here. The debt ceiling is uh, October 17th. And uh, uh, from this point forward, it's kind of just wait and see. So. Uh, we'll probably see some a little bit of risk reduction and uh, a little bit of um, uh, changing the dynamics of, of people's uh, macro trades right now and looking a little bit more in the micro aspects of just you know singled out with with one or two currencies. So uh, if you have any questions, feel free to give me a call. Dan Pavlona, senior broker here at RJO Futures, and remember to follow us on Twitter and uh, Facebook. And Futures has uh, has risk and is not suitable for everyone. Thanks.